um welcome to another episode um uh, uh i don't remember the day i think it's day 14 but let's get on with the question so the question says uh, you're given a string s uh, that only contains low case characters and a matrix uh, with a shift which is called shift uh, and there are two parameters to each uh, of the shift shift uh, element so we can think of it as a tuple i guess uh, so direction is can be zero which means you want to left shift and one which means right shift and you are given an amount which tells us by how much amount we want to shift that string right so left shift by one means you move the characters of s like any first characters of s and append it to the end similarly a light right shift means you remove the last characters sorry and add it to the beginning and return the final string after all operations um let's understand it the example uh through some diagrams um so you're given a string a b c and you're given a shift array of 0,1 and 1,2 right so what do you do here is he means to say let's say zero means okay zero means left shift and one means right correct so he means uh, the question means that um if it's zero one so zero means we need to left shift and we need to shift by one character right so let's say i shift left shift this character so i do i shift b to here c to here and then a to here so basically my output would be b c a right after the first operation now in the second operation it says you have to do a right shift and uh, you need to shift it by 2 so that means b comes here c comes here because two jumps one jump here and then one jump here and for a one jump here two jump here so one becomes here so basically the uh final output would be something like c is at the start right and then a and then b this should be our final output let's check it okay cool so uh one way would be that for each element of shift i pick this tuple then check if it's zero i need to left shift and just blindly left shift by the amount given and then i go to the next element uh see it's okay it's a right shift i take the amount and go and blindly do the right shift by 2 but let's understand it this is just a direction right um can we club it so see we know let's okay maybe we can take another example and understand it so the other example is 1 comma 1 or comma 1 0 2 1 so the operations are something like this 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 0 comma 2 1 comma 3 right and then a string a b c d e f g so which is a b c d e f g right sorry for my bad hand writing uh, i still i'm still using mouse so <laughs> it's it's not clear so mm, uh, let's say uh, now let's let's just focus on the direction first let's say uh, i am a man and i am walking uh, one means right right so i am walking in this direction by one and then i am walking th in this direction by one again so which is like this is one again now zero means left that means i just turn back and i let's say i i turn, turn back and i run a left of two so basically i, I reach the same spot from where i started because i moved two directions in right and then two directions in left and the finally i pick uh, i walk one direction right so in overall this total what is my output my output is 
1 comma 1 right which means which means I only walked one uh, let's say any unit a unit in the right direction so finally after the whole step process my final output is 1 comma 1 which is uh, 1 in the right direction so if we if we shift it by one element what would we get we get the output as uh, so it's by 3 my bad uh, I need to make a correction so I move to write by 3 which is which is I am at 0 here yeah and then I moved to 3 so mm, I was wrong the total sum is 3 basically 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 2 and then minus 2 so you are at 0 and then 3 in the right direction my bad so basically my final uh, my final uh, this thing is 1 comma 3 so I need to shift in three uh, places uh, uh, in right direction. So three spaces means A becomes one, two, three, D. So A becomes here, um, C becomes one, two, three. C becomes the end, uh, A, B, C. Sorry, C becomes one, two, three, F, and then D. So E, F, G. So this is our final output, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. E F G A B C awesome. So what we figured out is we can scrap out uh, iterating over each and every shift uh, uh, element and then rotating it. In, in 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 it would be straightforward if we just do a calculation of right be a positive value, left being a negative value, and whatever finally we get uh, that will be a final direction we want to move to, and that's what we'll do. So 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 let's let's now consider uh, now that we are clear on this part that uh, we only need to move into one direction of with some unit right that will be the final output from this calculation now what 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 more uh, how easily we can rotate the elements of the string so we'll look into that let's say one case is uh, as i said in the last example one case is you have to move to uh, right direction in three units and we have a string a b c so uh, if if you're not familiar with this concept uh, in, a, in a way in a way we have to be in bounds for this string so this string length is three and we have to always be in bounds and let's say we want to move it by three. Oh, okay for clarity purposes just to see how the rotation works uh, let me take one comma two so you need to move to right by two so let's say the uh, length of the string is three um and we need to be in bounds so what we do because length is three we always do modulus of three remainder of three right why let's say let's say uh i was at index let's say i have to rotate it by uh let's say four yeah right in the right, right direction by four but if I do 4, it will be a, a is at 0, right? A is at 0. So if I do in 4 direction, A is at 0, plus 4 would be A has to be on 4. But 4 would be out of bounds. So if we if we calculate 4, it's like 1 here, 2 here, 3 here, 4 here. Right? 4. 4, big four is not, none other than it's just 1. So uh, like moving just one space instead of moving 4. So how do we get that when do when we do 4 modulus 3 which is length of this array we get 1 so we stay in bounds and we know that at the end of the day we only have to move by 1 so so let's say this string is s we just do we take a new string s of 1 and we do i modulus whatever this value is 4 let's say sorry not modulus here we have to take plus and then we do modulus 3 and that will be equal to s of i right so basically that equation is whenever we have to move in the positive direction we just add and do take a modulus of 3 just to be sure that we stay in bounds now let's consider a case where we have to move to left by four uh, four spaces so in that case a 
E C. So what would be a scenario? We have to move A uh, in. Uh, so A has to be one, two, three, four. So A reaches four here, right? Four is none other than three. Sorry, two. My bad. Four is none other than two. So what we do here is, we basically if we take four modulus three, it gives one. Like one is we have to move it in the right direction, but that's not what we want. Uh, we 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 want to do the reverse direction, right? Four modulus three gives us in the positive direction. We want to take the reverse direction. So what we do is we do three minus one, which will give us two. So in case of left, oh, if I do something like this, which is three minus i more plus four modulus three, right? Equals to s of i. If I do this, so s of zero will give me zero plus four is four modulus three one, and then three minus one is two, so one two. So basically, I'm moving one two three four four directions in this way. Similarly, if I had to move, let's say b, b's value would be b's at one, so one two three four. So b at the end of the day comes at this position. Zero position, right? So if we put one here in i, let's say what we get, i plus four is uh, one plus four would be five. Five modulus three is two. Three minus two is one. Okay, so I think that where makes us calculation wrong because uh, s of one becomes s of one. So it's one, two, three, four. Hmm. Yeah, if we have to move to four places behind, which is uh, okay, one, two, three, four. Four. So E, okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, in case of left, uh, I think we need to figure it out. Let's let's clean this up and let's try to see what I'm doing now. So right part is clear, I guess. So right part is a straight formula for the left. Let's say we have to move zero comma four, and we have given a, b, c. Right. So a becomes at one, two, three, four. So a goes from zero to two. B goes from one two three four uh, one two zero, and C goes from two to one. Correct. So let's try to create a formula of how we can uh, make it a generalized value instead of shifting everything by four. Um, what we can do here is. Um, five minus it is two. So four zero plus four is one. Zero two. And then hmm. what would be the best way to do it instead of shifting everything back forward? I need to move it to the two side. So basically, instead of going reverse, I know I have to move two spaces because B is one two, C is one two, and A is one two. So I need, I know that for four, I need to move by two spaces. Uh, what, what if I do? I have four modulus zero plus. So 
so I can do this that I know that I have to move uh, four in reverse direction I can find what would be the what would be the place value if I move it to positive direction right so positive value would be three minus if I do four modulus three uh, this will give me two let's say let's say if I take five okay for five for zero comma five um, my a would be one two okay one two three four five oh sorry i have to do reverse sorry yeah one two three four five a has to come at one move by one for six it will be nothing right uh, six modulus uh, three will be zero three so i do one two three similarly seven so for seven it will be um uh, one two three four five six seven so seven modulus three is one okay awesome i think i got it so what we can do is uh, in case of reverse uh let's say five i uh, generally i use this formula three minus five modulus three this will give me one right so one is the value in in positive in right direction that i need to take so if let's say by five, if I have to rotate by five, my final answer would be Z. A will become one, two, three, four, five. A will come here. B will come one, two, three, four, five. B will come here and C will come here. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Reverse direction. So I know I need to move everything by one. See, in this case, it's everything is moving by one. So I guess my general formula here would be just three minus whatever value x model is 3 and then I use this in the right direction for this formula so let's try to code this up um, I'll take a value at count 0 remember left is negative right is positive and if it stays there it itself we don't need to do anything right so i do for okay so it's a vector of vector int mm -hmm. okay so they have given that shift um will always have two values okay mm. so we take a vector of int t then if t of 0 equals equals 0 that is in this in left direction I do count equal to t of 1 else I do count plus t of 1 so if count is positive that means it's in the right direction I do if count is greater than um, zero. I take a more string and string s one plus simply do s of i plus we saw count. If it's negative, we saw uh, the right direction count will be equal to s dot length minus count. Because we need to multiply it with minus one because uh because we are subtracting right for the left case so in case uh, we do my modulus minus one in, in this case could cause the issue of because it will add it because minus mm, minus will be plus so 
okay so now i have the right direction i simply do let's see if this works um, the overall time complexity would be um, would be o of uh, n right because uh, we are not combining this shift inside of string we have every value we just do a max loop of uh, uh, on the string awesome uh, hope you guys like this video if so please subscribe to my channel and gives me a thumb give me a thumbs up thanks everyone